call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on uh, this uh, 28th day of February, 2023 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Kenneth Callaway to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Dear God, we thank you for this opportunity to be here tonight. I pray you give us wisdom and the, the ability to, to make the decisions that need to be made and, and pr pray you keep our county in safe and, and keep us safe through this evening. In your name I pray, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, before you have the minutes of the uh, that's not right. that's January what? I mean February what? February 14th. A February 14th meeting. And uh, and uh, I need a motion to approve. Motion made to approve the minutes. Sorry. Yeah, you have a, a motion. And uh, a second. Okay, have motion, second, you got it. Uh, any discussion, corrections, or additions? Questions, corrections, or additions? Being none, on favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passed. Before you have the bill claims payments and transfers, I need a motion to approve those. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Kenneth Callaway. Uh, is there any dis any uh, discussion on the bill claims payments and transfers? There's a late list up here, Annie. Yeah. You've got your coffee, yeah. Okay. 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 That's including the late list. Uh -huh. Being, being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Okay. Next thing we have is Ohio County High School Project Graduation. Is there anybody here to represent that? Being none, what it is, every year the fiscal court, we, uh, we help with project graduation. That's where they do things with the seniors to keep them from getting out and having a big party, I guess. But anyway, they have a, a, a deal at the school and, uh, and they ask us to help them. And here's what traditionally happens. Uh, traditionally, we uh, uh, each one gives something from our discretionary money. Uh, just Jason, who can't be here, always committed 100, and I'm committing 100. So it's up to y'all what you want to do from discretionary funds if you want to do it. Kenneth said he, he will. Yeah, I'll do the same. For yeah, all from Michael does. I will too. And so will, uh, so will Larry. So that means it's 100 yeah, dollars uh, So Okay. Uh, I think that's all we needed, if you don't mind making a note. Uh, I, I guess we go ahead and make a motion that we can. I'll make a motion that the fiscal court give a total of $600 to the Project graduation. Okay, need a second. Michael made the motion. Second. Second by Larry Murphy. All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like say aye. Pass. Um, you have the reclass budget amendment 2023 20, 2 and 2023-3. 20, um, uh, and, yeah, we're just changing accounts. Do you want to go ahead and give us a briefing real quick? Uh, when those budget amendments were done, it was we thought it was for economic development in the general fund. Since then, they are now CDBG and have to be put in a non-interest bearing, so they have to move to the fund 07, which is for federal grants that will not draw interest. So that's the only thing that's changed is changed from general fund to 
Do I hear a motion? Make a motion. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Be enough. Well, uh, it's a budget amendment. You've got a roll call. Roll call. Callaway. Yes. Morphew. Yes. McKinney. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Okay, Charlie. Come on up. Uh, back when we done the river projects, we had two projects that we had to rebid. It was site four and site six. That's why I came to the court and we ran the paper and we get help in bids. You want me to do it right here in front? Yeah. You can sit here at Jason's spot. Yeah. Yeah, go, there. go ahead and open them here and uh, give them to one of these guys to read. Give them the bow to read. I can do it. And we also have two representatives from NCRS who's going to help fund us this. Ryan and Penny there, so. Our river from streams uh, in our county really has a lot of problems. And uh, this is a start on it, and we appreciate it. But at some point, uh, not only rough, but uh, even parts of green, you know, a lot of our streams leading into them are just uh, completely blocked. We're ready. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and read it. Yeah. Um, we got a bid from Kyle Addington for the site four of the OC debris removal for $98,400. Okay. That's only one site, correct? And it's for site four. Okay. Um, here we go. It's this one right here, site. Okay. Let me find this one. That's site six. We've also got one from B Brock Enterprises. Um, Okay, we've also got one from B Brock Enterprises for site four for one hundred thirty-five thousand. So now those are the same sites, right? It's the same site. Okay, just got two. No. We have a total of four. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll to find this one faster. Right there. It's in there somewhere. We've also got one from Horner, Disaster Response and Recovery, for Site 4 for $50,065, but that's for $43,065 for river debris removal, $7,000 for seeding and mulching. So that's all the ones we got for Site 4. Then there's one more for another. Was it site six? Yeah, I got site six to be next, but that's the ones we got for site four. Okay, uh, and this is technically, wh whose district would this project be in? Uh, Kenneth. Kenneth. Kenneth, did you get those numbers? I got Would you care to make a motion on accepting the bid, or do you have questions for the, uh, uh, who's doing it before you do so? So, let me throw this out there. Mm -hmm. Whatever, I mean. Uh, site four is it up in your district? It's on Plain Ford Road. Uh, the Beef Rock Enterprises, they're out of uh, Macon, Kentucky, and I don't know where this horn. I think they've done some work for y'all. Horner is working in Muhlenberg County currently. Muhlenberg County. And the Kyle and he's a local guy. So that way you have all your. Yeah, I mean, there's a huge difference there, almost 80%. Difference there between the two. I don't understand. 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 I don't understand
certification and, and yeah. inspection and, and research by the emergency uh, management. Like yeah, I'll, 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 I'm happy to make a motion, but I think is uh, is there anyone here from Warner that can no validate this? Okay, he's got a motion in line that will give you a chance to check the company out. Okay, because you're thinking to <coughs> the nu uh, numbers on the next site that's totally totally different from the other one. So you're gonna open six and then make motion? Yeah, I'd rather open six because I think you're gonna see the same problem here. Okay. Uh, there's only one bid on it, though? No, there's three bids on Site 6. It, the Site 6 is from uh, Deep Rock Enterprises, Extreme Excavating, and this Warner. But looking at these prices, I mean, you'll hear it here in this section. Yeah. If you want to read them out, both. Yeah, uh, the bids for Site 6 uh, start with Warner. Um, is a total of $24,390. And then we have a bid from B. Brock Enterprises for Site 6 for $175,000. And we have a bid from Extreme Excavation for Site 6 for $120,000. But you know what? If they've done work for you know before, and it's okay. We've been pleased with everything they've done so far. Okay, that kind of settles it then. You are more than welcome to call them, ask them about equipment. I just need. I, I think we should make sure that they're bidding the same thing dollar for dollar. I, yeah, because that, that doesn't make a whole lot. Of that's sense. what Kenneth was doing. Yeah. He was making the. Most accept that lo the low bid uh, pending research from EMI. So Kyle Addington did not bid on site six, correct? No, he did not bid on site six. On the On the site four. That's correct. Okay. And I'll call them when I'll let each other did. Do Joe understand the motion? So he's, you're not accepting the bid. You're I just accept, accept it pending. Yeah. Pending it pending. But if that's the case, it's getting the same work. I have, a, I have a question real quick, provided that doesn't work out, who are our next bidders in line on those two projects? Well, one of them is that it's I, I don't, at this point, they know what the, it's public now, what the, what the next closest bid is. Yes. It's not fair for them to be able to change theirs. No, we're reading. So they're, we're either, they're either going to stick yeah. to that amount, or we're going to need to entertain the next bid, I feel. Yeah, they're, they're on the but, record. But I mean, it makes sense to take the low bid if it's going to work. So you can put in your motion the preference one to four. Uh, and I, now, if it doesn't work out with that one, we'll bring it back to court next meeting. Well, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Hundred thousand dollar difference. I feel like you're not getting the same. Now this is the second time we've bid this. We had the wrong dimensions the first time, right, Charles? Yeah. Yeah. It's so I'll let y'all do that, and I'll call them tomorrow and make sure. So we need a second. I second. Second to Larry Moore. Yeah. 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 Sheriff's 2023 uh, amended budget. You want either one of <coughs> you want to explain that, Adam, or you want Ann to? It's one. It's basically what it is. We we calculate more for court security officers uh, to get reimbursed for that, and then so they up their pay. So. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Uh, do I have a motion to uh, pass as amended? Uh, so moved. Motion by Larry Morpheus. Second by Kent Callaway. Is there any discussion or questions for the sheriff? He, he will answer your questions. You don't have to be in temp Just because he's got the gun, don't mean he's going to shoot you if you ask him questions. I don't. I, I hope. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope they say aye. Hope like that. Jen. Uh, she's here from the high school. If okay, we've second. already done our motion. We give you $600. Thank you. I thought it started at 5.30. I'm so sorry. 
I do want to. Have kids coming probably at 5 30 or. Uh, I understand, but I do want to meet the young man that wrote that letter sometime. Oh, don't you? Isn't he amazing? Yeah. I know. Okay, I want to meet him. So. Okay, he may be coming. He's trying to come from a doctor's appointment. They have others coming. Okay, right. well, we'll move on and then <laughs> we'll, we'll see. But we've already done the motion. Thank you. Um, here it says judge's presentation. Uh, kind of excited about this. Right after the first of the year, we uh, and the treasurer and I started talking about the budget coming up. And uh, I gave her some instructions, which was hard. To do. I said, uh, we won't, don't want to cut anybody. We don't want to cut any of our departments. We uh, want to give uh, the CPI increase, which is 6.5%. Uh, we want to be realistic about the fuel and and uh, utility budgets, which we weren't last year. So as you know, electricity especially, and, and fuel have both gone up. And uh, like I said, nobody cut, giving everybody a raise, just the f fuel and the CPI for everybody, all of our employees, including you guys, get the CPI 6.5%. And uh, the, the that remarkable treasure virus brought us back a balanced budget with all those demands, and which tickles me to death. Uh, go ahead and pass now. And so, I would, like I said, very, very pleased. And we've done another small <coughs> adjustment on the positive side to both the park, not very much, and the animal shelter. We went ahead and raised the. Uh, we left everything else in the animal shelter budget like it was, even though I thought it was going to have to switch it around. And we gave them some time for overtime for the assistant uh, animal control officer so that they could have, you know, so get their job done. We were able to do all that and balance the budget. So I'm so pleased. So I'll give that to y'all tonight. In our next court meeting, which is March 14th, uh, we'll have a regular court meeting. And then we have a uh, Miranda's cooking supper for everybody. And then we'll have what we call a budget workshop. We'll go over the budget. But I am, I am just know it's a good one. And I just don't believe that any of you guys will have a problem with it. I believe you're going to love it as much as I do. And is that comparable to the last year's? Not a lot more. No, I mean, have you got last year's in there to, to compare it with? Yes. Okay. Yes. Last year's on the packet. Yeah, but we, we increased fuel. Yes. We gave the CPI to all of our employees and and the elected officials. It's not set by statute, not set by the general assembly. And uh, uh, we increased the fuel and the uh, utilities, and we didn't cut anybody, and still we got a balanced budget, which was uh, which I'm so pleased about. That's the good news that I, talk, I said I was going to give tonight. And uh, if anybody's seen me uh, skipping and whistling around the courthouse a few days ago, that's why that was. And uh, the final review of it between the treasurer and I, we were driving. We went to Bowling Green, and she drove. And uh, I was uh, going over the last minute questions and everything on the budget. And that all worked out really well, except one time I was trying to find something, couldn't find it. So she was over on my side of the truck driving and showing me where it was on the paper. She was driving the car. So other than that, it was a great experience. So we'll, we'll do that then. Um, just want these uh, folks that just come in from school, even though we've already taken care of the, butt, of the, the business for them, Want them to go ahead and uh, uh, introduce themselves and, and that sort of thing. Even though we're uh, we've already got your money. Hello, uh, Rich Hudnall, the 
president, uh, the senior president of Ohio County High School. I'm Sam Rhodes, I'm the vice president. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, good to meet you. And uh, I was quite impressed with the letter we got, so you've got some writing skills there, so appreciate that. Thank you, I always try to be different when I write things and then everything I do. I also want to thank you for all the donations to families in need at, a, at the high school and for the Christmas. So. Thank you for it also. Today, I told him you gave him 600. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. You. Good deal. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask if y'all have something special planned, different this year? Hello. Is this the first one since COVID? Since COVID? No, we had one the first one last year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all got anything spectacular planned? Uh, yeah, so uh, we're kind of changing it from being it being called Project Graduation to Senior Sunset. So kind of the sunset on our last time in Ohio County, uh, for the time being at least. Um, and a lot of it is just to kind of give the seniors one solid memory where they can all look back and make sure like that's the definitive last time I had in high school. Uh, and so we thought the sunset was like a cooler uh, experience to kind of represent the last time. Um, we're down to committee reports, and I don't know of any. Uh, Michael and I are working on a, a meeting with an informal committee that once we get it settled in, we'll probably read, we will read the results of that in, in, uh, in court uh, and, and what the mission of that committee is. Will, which will involve their uh, protection of the animals in the county. Uh, and so, uh, but, but we're not ready for that. Do we have any other committee reports? I don't think. Uh, I do too. It's not really a committee, but I do have some. Yeah, there. I'm sorry, Beth. I didn't know that. Come, come on down. There's I just want to report. give an update on the election equipment that the last time I was here. Uh, if you remember, it was about 75,000, so we got it down to 71,400. And uh, the only thing it's going to cost the county is going to be $840 for delivery and setup. But that's it. Now, the main thing I wanted to say tonight to you guys is thank you <coughs> for trusting me because of you giving me the leeway and helping me go ahead and get the approval and everything signed so I could get in for the grant. Ohio County, we've already. Oh, the state has already uh, now it transferred the money to all our county, so you've already got your $71,400 before you can get a bill. And I was told today it's on interest. But that all happened because y'all, to me, trusted me to m go ahead and do what I needed to do for the county, which well, I will get my equipment probably before anybody else to give this more time. So I just want to really, really thank you and tell you how much I appreciate you doing that. And because it's going to be another grant coming, so I may come back and ask for the same thing so that we can get all the equipment we need from these grants and not from the county. So thank you very much. And you've got this big uh, election coming up pretty soon to get ready for. And, uh, yes. Are you going to be able to get all of the governor's candidates on the farm? I think so. You yeah. Think yeah. All yeah. They're fixing to set our machines here in about 10 days. Yeah. It's going to be a full bunch yeah, of pace. It is, yeah. But it really helped. I mean, when you don't work in the election, it's hard to explain everything we have to do. And by giving me that freedom to do that, it took, takes a lot of pressure off me and the staff to get all this done. So thank you very much. Appreciate it more than you know. Go ahead and show them the picture. Oh, they may not want to see that picture. It's they may of, not know. Like, it's kind of interesting. Well, okay. I will, since you said it. I and wasn't, you got to remember I wasn't back when to Beth first came into office. Well, uh, I'd say this. some will remember it, some will not. But this is what you just, uh, that's a poll pad. I got 42 of those for the $71,400. So I don't know if it's ringing a bell with you, but my campaign colors 16 years ago was lime green and blue. Now, I had nothing to do with this, okay? So the whole state of Kentucky's whole pad <laughs> of this color, our, okay? Our campaign yeah. colors now. So that was a number one when I seen them. I said, oh, I've got to have those. And I might have tried to have them no matter what they cost, Larry. But I'm sure you would have stopped me, right? <coughs> Probably. Probably. But anyway, it's just kind of real funny because uh, 
Fleming just cut me no. Oh, okay. Number one seller right here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess it's committee reports. So let's move on to magistrate's comments and requests. Let's start with District 1. Uh, yes, I'd like to first uh, thank Adam Asphalt for uh, working so hard this last couple weeks and getting the uh, walking trail to park uh, on the cracks field. Uh, I'd like to entertain taking bids on uh, selling the entire walking trail. That hasn't been done for over 12 years. I think I was the last one to do so. And um, it's going to exceed what I can take care of personally with discretionary money. And I know Bo has been talking to me in regards to some grants that may be coming down the way that could uh, help us offset the cost of that. I'd just like to uh, make mention that I'd like to entertain make, uh, taking bids on uh, selling the entire walking trail at the Ohio County Park. Yeah. We can advertise for bids, and of course, you're not committed to it till we. Except the, that's correct. I just like to know, kind of get an idea of what it would cost today versus what it did 12 years ago. So is that a motion? I'd like to make a motion. <coughs> uh, place the ad and take bids on the uh, ceiling of the walking trail at the Ohio County Park. Do I have a second? This is not committing to it's just pay be it. It just takes the bid. I'll second. Yeah. Second by Jason. Any discussion? Like I said, we do this motion just to take the bid. I don't mean we accept it. And there's no new business for first district. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Say aye. Aye. Opposed? Like to say aye. Carried. Okay. District two. So I got here to tell in, and then I. Well. Did we do committee reports? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll back up and let you do your okay, I'm going to do a committee report. Okay. We were going to have some committee reports, but, but I had I just left the hospital. We had a student that broke a finger, so I just wanted to be there with him because I told him we would. So he just got out, thanks for all of that. But the buffer zone um, committee, committee, here's what I want to do for you guys, and that way everybody can see it. I've got a copy of what we're planning on doing with the buff, buffer zone. That way you can look at it if you have any questions between now and the next meeting. Well, I thought I had enough copies for everybody. Pass that down to Larry. Um, if you have any questions, I'll make some copies after this. I didn't think I had, I thought I had enough. And we can look at entertaining that motion next, next meeting. If you have any questions, you can call me. And then on the Side by side, we talked about that, and a lot of you guys, Larry was on the court when and we were here, but the the side by side, the four wheel, you know, I call off road vehicles, they looked at doing an ordinance where they would allow them to be on the roads. Uh, so this is, we finally got a draft from Justin. He's not here, is he? And this is the kind of, he went over, this is what it would look like to allow um, these side by sides on the roads and this would be the ordinance. You guys want to take a copy of that and um, you can get back with the questions on that and we can look at entertaining motions on that next week too. We did talk about on that side by side just doing one district, but we thought if we're going to entertain a motion to doing this, we're just going to look at doing it county wide. No, we're not this is that. Are you are you happy with it? I mean I'm happy with it. Because okay. basically it's you, know, you have to license it, you have to have a certain age, you have to, it, you're following all the rules that, and, and my justification, Adam's probably not happy with it, I know. But my justification, if you're gonna allow, there's four wheelers already on the roads anyway, and there's tractors already on the roads anyway. Four People, wheelers are not legal. Yes, but this would, if they license them, it's, it's gonna make some of it this is more side by side. They have to at least go 35 miles an hour. It explains all that. It has to have uh, a license and a, a sticker on it, which is a little bit more work, bring a little more income to you guys. But uh, it's just kind of way. If they're going to be on it anyway, it kind of licenses them, and uh, it actually get, it actually makes it a little 
better in that you have some control on where is it now they're just there they're just there and they're out but this way you do have some control and you have some here's how you know you got to be this age you have to have these types of regulations on your vehicles and uh, it's all in that ordinance right there and several counties are passing this and I do think this is a trial permit this is not permanent just yet we don't want to it's like for a trial phase but if we want to later on we can make it permanent but the only thing we did change that some counties were doing is we went if we're going to do it let's do it all four or five districts instead of just one yeah so that makes sense and if you have any questions feel free to call me and I will be here at four o'clock before the next meeting and you can I can go over some of that stuff with you too but uh, the only but, way I consider we talk to law enforcement which What's their issues with it and mm -hmm. talk to uh, some attorneys make sure we would not be liable well that's true and then and Justin that Justin drew that up Justin drew it up and Adam is on that committee I don't know how you can shake your head yes or no I don't know how crazy he is about it but well it could be a good thing but it's a double-edged sword yeah honestly it could be a good and bad thing but if it's here's the way of looking at it people are already doing it anyways we don't chase them just because you have to pick and choose your battles. You yeah. can't chase down an ATV or a motorcycle. Maybe this one will kind of help it. And rules and regulations, and then you know this could be a way to benefit the county. So that way, if you know if somebody's out there abusing it, we're like, hey, if they don't, if you don't talk to this person, they're going to take away from everybody. It's going to be you know, back to yeah. And like I said, I don't have an ATV or a four wheeler, so it's <clears throat> this is just something that you know. Vince, are you excited about it? Hey, woman. I am. Uh, we have one. I think I've been illegal for years. <laughs> I could be legal now. Uh, He's the public. Uh, all of you think about it. Uh, you can talk to Justin, Adam, or Jason about it, and it will be on the agenda yeah, for consideration way. next time. They'll you know, have an ordinance number on. And like I said, this was just brought to us by committee. We went over it. We looked at some other regulations. And basically, the city of Beaverdown and maybe Hartford is already kind of doing similar stuff to this already anyway. It's just extending it out into the county. Justin has it out, so I came from his office. Yeah. And then the buffer zone, I also have a map. I don't have copies of it. So if you'd like to see what we're talking about on that map, 2,500 feet around the city of Beaverdown and Hartford, I have a map of it too. I can get you a, or email you a copy. Could you explain a little more what buffer zone? Buffer zone. Okay, I'll I'll let me just tell you a little bit about that. Is what it is is the city's approached us about a base of a quarter mile. This is going to be a little bit more than a quarter mile or 2,500 feet. But the gist of it was, and I'll just so people, I'll just take this is what I got. Agriculture would be exempt except for large animal agriculture such as dairy, chicken houses, and large hog lots that are considered commercial enterprises. But just to explain what the buffer zone is for. It well, that's, gives, so the, like the, the, the planning and zoning, any claims on stops at the city limits now. You can not regulate anything outside the city limits. This gives you a little bit of distance so that people can't do these things that would hurt uh, people's property. Most but here's one thing, too, right, and I want people right to realize this. City. We're not trying to regulate your homes and stuff like that. It's more business oriented. Because in this is what it says, of course, individual landowners are exempt for non-business and commercial uses and would not require to obtain a permit or meet planning and zoning setbacks. So your individual housing is fine. It's more businesses and when you drive in off uh, the interstate, especially Beaverdam, more so than Hartford, it, we just wanted to look a little bit more presentable because we're trying to recruit business in Beaverdown and if you come in and you've got trash all over the place it, it's going to deter business so that's all we're trying to do I just wanted to explain because we formed a committee and we've talked about it but we never said what it was yeah <laughs> uh, it, that's that what was it, that was all I that's what it is it gives you a little bit of, of uh, regulation outside the city limits Per quarter of a mile, similar to what the plan is on. And the statute says you can go up to five miles. We're just looking at 2,500 feet. <laughs> so uh, that's that's great. And, and it, I don't, it's only going to affect 
Michael's district, myself. And only it might go into Larry's as far as because he has the uh, industrial park. It might take right around the industrial park. But other than that, it's just going to affect basically our two districts. So uh, we won't, we're going to have both of these on the agenda. And like I said, uh, Jason said he'd be available at 4 o'clock for the next meeting. And aren't you on, are you on, you're on one of those committees, right? Aren't you on, you're on yes. the yeah. committee. Well, we were going to, I was going to call and have to meet today. Of course, the kid, the situation at school, but we also, I forgot about the pictures. So I didn't call when I saw the 3.30. I knew we were going to kind of be busy, so. That's why I thought I'd make copies, give them to everybody, give you two weeks to look over. If you have any questions, you can call me or whoever, and then you can also, I'll be here at 4 o'clock at the next, uh, yeah. before the next court meeting. In case the visitors one and we don't look like this every meeting. Any other committee reports? I think no, put both in on the agenda. If not, let's go on to the uh, uh, bow. Do you have any? Uh, they're not. Uh, Thank you, sir. And as far as me, I know there's a lot of good work being done by the road crew, but uh, just a lot of calls on on uh, drainages that are, that are stopped yeah. up, especially okay. with the, the recent flooding we've had. It rained we had last week as well. We, so. we need to do it, and if you don't mind, maintain us a, a yeah. list what gets reported to you. Yeah. But we are working on that's the number one thing that they uh, working on now. Uh, we're just fixing to start a really uh, large pro project in your district on Hall Lane tomorrow. Then after that, we leave it and go to the Bose District down in uh, Centertown at a uh, uh, Depot Street. In the Depot Street, we have a huge drainage problem there we're working on. But we'll get to them just like to keep us informed on the list. This one I've already got on the list that you gave me today, yeah. but I'll check into it. Okay, appreciate it. Hey, Ken, can I give you a word to, since you're new and I've been here for a while? Just when you think you're getting caught up, oh, you're not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If uh, you're, you're, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing okay. Just keep your list. Uh, District 5. I just want to comment on the road departments. They had a lot of trees down yesterday and they had to work over to uh, clear some roads. They had a big tree fall in your district on the Robert Road. Yeah. Road, Road, yeah. Cross Rock Road. You had some fires from the, from the wind too. It knocked the transformer down along like the pen lane and yeah. started fire. Right. And the fire department got there fairly quickly and got it put out. But it Could, the, the fire <clears throat> out Rob Roy, what happened? I mean, did it, the wind, I guess they got it out pretty quick or because there were several fire departments that went out to that. Yeah, I just know what's going on up about schools letting out. I saw several different apartments going. So we had that and up to 10 votes. Probably at the same time. Kind of nervous because of the wind blowing, that was not a... Yeah, because Rosine had went to the other one. And they had to come back to... Oh, yeah, because we saw them pass going to... Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Anyone else got anything for the good of the body? Yes, sir. Uh, Adam and then Charlie. Charlie, go first. He got, he got injured today and he hit his head, so I'm concerned about him quick. Hey, mine's quick, Judge, Master. I called the company. I've asked them to come down next week to do apples of apples, make sure we're on the same. Unfortunately, I won't be here at the next fiscal court meeting, so it'll be March the 28th. I'll have y'all an answer. I've asked these guys to come back on that day, too. Uh, just make sure we're all the same on the numbers and the same thing we're looking at. So we'll have an answer on March the 20th. Sounds good. Uh, to put something together, I made copies for y'all to look at it if you want. Uh, May 15th in Washington, D.C., one of our deputies, Jerry Chris Lover, passed away on uh, April 20th last year, is being inducted into the National uh, Memorial Wall of Theater in Washington, D.C. And usually what they do is every agency sends representatives up there for the department to be recognized. Jerry was such a wonderful, wonderful person that I can never fill that shoe as far as a school resource officer. As, uh, 
But I, what I'm requesting is, is if the county would entertain the thought of paying for me and Deputy Eskridge, who was the recipient of the Jerry Critchlow Above and Beyond Award, to attend Washington, D.C. I've done some figures there. For me and him both going up there, it'll be less than $1,000. And then what happens is when his name gets called out, we step forward and represent the agency. This is the first time that we've ever had Ohio County Deputy Sheriff up there, and I think it would be wonderful for the family and for us to represent our county. That's all I need that form of a motion. Hey, Adam, they did tell me I run so into at the Sports Motor Complex and run into um, one of Jerry's cousins, and they, she said that uh, they told Gail that they could only have immediate family, that they would only pay for it through the Heroes Board. Uh, anybody else would have to you know, pay for their own. But uh, she said she looked for the family to rent a bus or charter a bus to take them up there, or take the rest of the family up there. And uh, see, Gail was very thrilled with everything that's been done for Jerry in his memory. Good. You got the motion second. I'll second. Yeah. Then, we, he, he, I don't know what fun. You have to need to come out of my stress for me, part of it. Uh, I think we're going to have enough in the travel. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Opposed like that. Anybody else got anything for good? I want to thank Forgeville for coming. We're well represented there. The mayor and uh, city councilmen are here. We're really proud that y'all are here. Uh, and they've been here before and we appreciate it. And uh, anytime you want to uh, speak to us, you can. I do, I do have a question, David. On the next meeting, that's the night we conference we're going to eat and just talk a few minutes and head out okay, okay. then we are going to be still on that night correct all right yeah. uh, yeah. oh, is it six o'clock yeah. yeah. our meetings at six o'clock no it'll be immediately after no that the, 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 the fiscal court or immediately yeah, yeah. after fiscal court actually. okay yeah. yeah immediately after fiscal court okay could we move our meeting up an hour? Would that be feasible? Yeah, you could. And okay. if, it, if all of you guys are okay with it, we can. Is it okay if you got Four? You, you feel okay? Four. Okay, let's do that. At four? Yeah. I can be here at four. Can you put that out for us? Next meeting will be at four o'clock. And the reason for that is we're going to have a, 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 a meal and a and a quick uh, meeting before we head out for a conference. That would make a special call, would it not? Yeah, well, I think it's going to be a big deal. I think everybody's going to leave. Does that make I it a no, special call? No, just reschedule. Okay. No, just reschedule. It's a regular meeting at a different time. We've done that before. Okay, nothing else? We're going to call this meeting adjourned. See y'all. Uh, well, I hope to see y'all.